We're going to do a video on Tesla stock, TSLA, Tesla stock analysis. We've got a daily chart of Tesla here. We're going to show you an hourly chart, a daily chart, a weekly chart. Then we're going to show you some algorithmically generated entry prices. Tesla's up today. Looks like 7.5%, $13 a share, trading at $190.82. 77 million shares traded so far on an average daily volume of 71 million shares, and it's the 10th of November. Let's take a look at Tesla real quick. Looks like Tesla went in here yesterday, put in a new low at this 177 uh, price. Extremely interesting that uh, Tesla did that. Let's take a look real quick at the weekly chart and see what that tells us. So we had support here from this weekly chart of $179. Tesla, as we've been discussing for weeks here, broke through. A lot of people thought I was kidding when I said it was going to go to 182, but here we are at 177. Now, Tesla's rallying today, which means absolutely nothing. The next target that I had discussed in here was the 159, 160. Tesla, if we take a look on a weekly chart, we have a 20-week moving average just below that. We have a five-week moving average just below that. Just Let's just take a quick look at this chart. This chart's uh, this stock's in a heavy bear market. It just moved through its 179.83, $179.83 low in March of 2021. That is horrible for this stock in terms of its future uh, potential to avoid declining. So I think Tesla's going to flirt with the 200 week moving average. I just think they can't stand it. It's like a magnet and they got to drive it to it. If you notice this, that would put it back where it's where it first got started all the way down here November 19th before the pandemic. So I think we're going to go to the to the 160 level and flirt with this 200 uh, week moving average. That's just my guess. It is up today, but if you'll notice it's up. Let's go back to daily chart. You'll notice it's up, but it's still within yesterday's range. So this is today's range, the 10th. Here's yesterday's. We're just moving around here. We closed almost on the bottom yesterday. We closed yesterday at $177.59. So it can't hardly do anything but go up today just to just to uh, avoid being oversold, which reminds me to go to the hourly chart. Let's take a look and see at Tesla. You can see Tesla was definitely oversold down here. This is an hourly chart. Here is the day that it tapped or the hour that it tapped. Uh, November 1st tapped the 200 or almost tapped the 200 hour moving average. You can see that's still sloped down. You can see Tesla is bumped right up against right this second. It's bumped right up against the 200, uh, excuse me, the 20 hour moving average. And it has not closed above the 200 hour moving average. This might have been the last time it closed November 4th. So, you know, we've gone almost a full week and it hasn't even got above its, 200, its uh, 20 hour moving average. That's a 20 hour moving average. So Tesla's in a bad position. Um, technically. The good thing about Tesla is it's trading pretty nice. In other words, it's orderly. It's not doing anything crazy. I don't see any panic in that decline. I just see steady selling. So you can see these little pops right here. When an hour popped up, they sold it. A couple of hours here, they popped up, they sold it. A couple of hours it popped up, they sold it. A couple of, this one hour it popped up, they sold it. So there's a lot of selling whenever there's a rally. I expect to see more selling here. And I think we're already seeing that. It's hard to see it. But when we scan in here, this three hours, they're clearly not letting it go any higher than this first hour high, which is $90, $190.11. So that's Tesla's in a, in a situation where it's breaking down, in my opinion, for entertainment purposes only. I'm probably going to go test that 159 moving average. That's my best guess, again, for entertainment purposes only. Let's go down here and take a look at Tesla on algorithmically generated situation. It looks like Tesla has not yet entered our uh, lows yet, the lows 177, but you can see we have buys on Tesla at 165, 170, and 175. That's a one, five, and 20 trading day holding periods for the 10th of November. And let's go down and take a look and see what we see for trend following for Tesla. This is a 30 day hold. Uh, keep in mind, all for entertainment purposes only. Can't use it for anything other than entertainment, my commentary, or the enterprises. And uh, for entertainment purposes only, this is a 30-day hold trading system. So basically, you get in, get out as soon as you take a profit or close it out at a loss on the 30th day. Just for the market closes, we're going to Tesla for the 10th of November. It's got a short at 195.89. I don't think we got anywhere close to that. We're at 190 right now. Let me go back and check here what the daily is on Tesla and see if we tap that. But uh, interesting that the algo is called for a short at that low of a price. Let's take a look here, 190 and 15 cents. And this was 190, calling for a short at uh, 190 and, where are Tesla? I'm sorry, 195 and 89 cents. So this was about four bucks, more than four dollars, maybe five dollars above the market, but still got the direction right. Uh, interestingly enough, S&P 500 said to buy at 38.48, which is way higher than the market is, but still, it's a buy, Ford's a buy, General Electric's flat, still showing Tesla, Apple short. So that's what we've got for you today for algorithmically generated entry prices for Tesla. And you can get access to all that, 190 stocks, the major Forex pairs, BTC, crypto, and the most liquid futures contracts every day before 7 a.m. at rbamresearch.com. Free access, no credit card required. Go over and try it out for yourself with your um, 
inputting your email address at rbmresearch.com and you get instant access to everything that we cover. Keep in mind, everything you've seen and heard on here is for entertainment purposes only. Can't use anything, including our enterprises, for anything but entertainment. You should always do your own analysis and you definitely trade at your own risk. If we have a ticker symbol or a futures uh, symbol or a uh, futures contract or a currency that you want us to do a video on, please leave it in the comment section below. And if it's a good one, we think enough people would be interested in it, we'll consider doing it. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well.